INEC mistakenly submits evidence that gives people a big victory, exposes Bola Ahmed Tinebu, breaking news. Hello, people, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, like I've often said, at the end of the day, INEC will have to come out and testify and confirm and use their mouth to confess how they actually rigged this particular ele election for uh, in, in, the, uh, for in, in the favor of Bola Ahmed Tinebu. You know, the truth has started coming out already. At the election petition tribunal today, you know, INEC actually submitted an evidence that has given P2B the victory that he wants in court, you know, and this evidence has invariably exposed Balame Tinibu and the rascality that they committed during the presidential election. You know, I'm going to analyze and show you the evidence that they submitted, and the court itself had admitted and, you know, marked those uh, this particular document as an as an evidence or exhibit that will be used towards the final processes or stages of this particular tribunal. Well, if this is your first time of visiting this particular channel, don't hesitate to click on the notification button so I get notified whenever I drop a new and important video here. Let's go straight to the point and to the do document that INEC actually submitted today in court. You know, when the court actually started today, uh, because uh, Tinibu and uh, Shetima actually started their own uh, started their own defense today, you know, and they, they've been submitting a lot of uh, documents, you know, to prove that their principal, being Tinibu, actually won the election. And in one of the documents they actually submitted today was an INEC uh, press statement that was actually, you know, released and published on a, on a particular newspaper in Nigeria, which is the Nigerian Tribune. And, you know, this particular uh, newspaper has actually been causing a lot of problems. As you can see on the screen, you can see the document that INEC and uh, the uh, Balatinibu's lawyer submitted to uh, the election petition tribunal court today. They stated that, that on, the, on the 23rd February 2023, being this year, that INEC, as a matter of fact, made a public uh, statement or release stating that they won't transmit uh, the election results. They, uh, they won't transmit the election results. This is what INEC said. As you can see, let me read what you can see on the screen. He said, we won't transmit raw figures of election results, INEC chairman. We won't transmit raw figures of election results, INEC chairman. Now, this is an evidence that Bolatinibu and the Shitima's lawyer actually brought to the court today, thinking that they will use this particular evidence to tie down or probably uh, dismantle P2B's team, without knowing that this particular uh, document or evidence they brought to court has equally worked in favor of uh, P2B's victory. You know, now let us analyze this particular document that, that the court admitted today during the court section and you know try to expose and understand truly what INEC is trying to say. Now, they said that INEC claimed on this particular report or press statement that they released on 23rd February that they would transmit raw figures of election results. Now, when you read this document or when you read this article that was actually uh, published by INEC on Nigerian Tribune, you would understand what INEC is trying to say. As a matter of fact, INEC did not say that they would, they would transmit election results. They only said that they would transmit raw figures of the election results. They gave reasons in this particular article, and they said that if they, if they transmit the raw figures of this particular election results at three times, that there is every possibility that their system can be hacked and the figures will, will be manipulated. I, remember, it is important for people to know that INEC is talking about raw figures, raw figures, but this is not what the Electoral Act said. The Electoral Act mandated that at each polling unit that the INEC uh, uh, agents or probably the INEC representative there, as a matter of fact, must use the Beavers machine to scan the from EC8A results and upload it on the IREF portal. The Electoral Act did not say that the, uh, the that the INEC agents there should actually impute the numerical or the raw figures of probably what each political party got and upload to the INEC, the IREF portal. No. The electoral has said that the, INEC, that the INEC official there must snap in the presence of each of the uh, party agents, must snap and or scan the form EC8 area, which is a form that has the record and the number of votes that each political party got, and then upload on the IREF portal. So the, what the INEC chairman is trying to say in this particular press statement that they actually published is that raw figures are, in, are, are prone to be manipulated or hacked since they are just mere, mere figures and they can actually be changed or manipulated. But there is no possible way pictures or numbers on a, on a picture, that is numbers on, from ECA will be manipulated on the IREF portal. You know, like I've said, this INEC is very, very corny and they are very, very dicey. Now, they said that they won't transmit raw figures of election results. Now, if you could recall, that same day that they conducted the presidential election, the uh, House of uh, Rep and uh, the uh, House of Assembly elections were conducted that same day. And INEC, as a matter of fact, transmitted the, their results at real time and uploaded each of the uh, results of the, uh, of the uh, 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 House of Assembly and House of Rep elections on the IREF portal. 
Now, if INEC claimed that they won't transmit any of the election results, so why did they even transmit the ones of the uh, House of Assembly and the House of Rep and intentionally stop and, and refuse to up upload the ones of the uh, presidential election? So you, you could see that INEC you know, actually scored, or uh, Tinibu's lawyer today scored a, an own goal uh, on themselves. INEC was not saying that they won't transmit election results. No, they stated that, that they won't transmit raw figures because if you read the statement again, the, the raw figures they are speaking about are just numbers like 23, 40, 150, because they believe those numbers could easily be changed or hacked by you know, hackers and manipulated. But there's no way somebody will actually you know, change the picture, a picture that was uploaded on an IRF portal, which is what the Electoral Act said, because the Electoral Act was well planned and well structured. Because the electoral ad knows that if numbers we are only uploaded on the IRF portal, like a normal Excel spreadsheet numbers and all that, that it could easily be manipulated and easily be, uh, uh, you know, uh, altered. That was why the electoral ad said that said that that the only thing that will be uploaded on the IRF portal is nothing but the form ECFA. Now, Tinibu's lawyer actually brought this particular uh, 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 press release that INEC made on this Nigerian tribunal, thinking that this this will be an evidence to settle the case of uh, the electronic transmission of results. You know, without knowing that they've actually scored an own goal, like I've said, they don't even read through to understand what INEC was trying to say here. Raw figures are different from uploading scanned and um, pictorial uh, form uh, pictures of uh, the form EC8A that was used during the presidential election and on other elections within the country. So if INEC, if Tinibu's lawyers, like I've said before, claiming that INEC said that they would transmit the, the election results, why did they transmit, like I've asked before, why did they transmit the House of Assembly and the House of Rep election during that same fateful day and the, the transmission went successfully well. So like I've said, INEC and Tinibu don't even know what they are doing. Like I've often said here, they don't even know how to defend the rascality and the illegality they committed during the election day. They are just running head skaters looking for a balance or where to actually hold themselves. But they don't know they don't know that Nigerians are actually smarter than them. Ironically, like I've said before, the court admitted this particular uh, 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 evidence they brought you know, as an as an evidence, uh, as a, or as an ASB to be used to judge the case. But they don't know that this particular evidence itself, you know, is in favor of it will be, and it is, it is going to favor his victory. Because there is no place in this particular document that INEC said that they won't transmit or upload or scan, uh, or, or upload the scan document. Even in the doc, in, in this particular article, INEC insisted that the scan documents of the of, from ECHA will be actually uploaded. So you can see how the how INEC itself actually scored an ogo against themselves. Well, I'll keep you guys posted and concerning this entire tribunal and what happens and probably uh, what are the court will actually say about this entire incident. Open the door.